Hi, fellow creative people. I hope you're all doing well. As you know, I value creativity very highly. With this channel, I'm always trying to bring you creative inspiration. I searched all over YouTube and couldn't find any videos of musicians or composers actually talking about their process in terms of what they see and hear and how it inspires the creation of their music. So I'm going to do just that, show you how I get inspired by nature and life and turn it into music. Recently, I went to my nearby park with a nice lake. The goal was to get into nature and see how it can inspire the musical creative process. You can take everything from this video and apply it to anything you see for creative musical inspiration. So sit back and enjoy the adventure. So today, I'm going to go for a long walk and record some videos and talk about all kinds of creative things. You see the, that line of trees right there? Well, that's the park I'm gonna go to and uh, we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, so I'm out here at my favorite park right near my home. I don't know if you can see the water shimmering down there. This is a little man-made lake. People love to go paddleboarding, kayaking, swimming, all kinds of water fun stuff in there. I came out here because it was a nice sunny day and I thought let's make some videos and let's talk about creativity. Let me tell you like what I like to do. I like to come out to places like this to think creatively, to be creative, to just relax, get fresh air, be in nature. And while I'm out here, I get all kinds of interesting creative ideas, which I write down with my um, phone notes app. I don't even have to take pencil or paper. So when you want to be creative, go find a nice park, a nice location. You can be creative out here. Just let your mind forget about all the crazy things you have to deal with every day and go for a walk. So what are some creative things you can see out here, feel out here? When you're out here, you are in nature, everything is wide open, fresh air. Maybe write songs about what you see, how you feel when you're out here. If you're an artist, um, there's literally endless things you can paint here, of course. Every artist knows this. Just come out to, just feel creative. Just come out to enjoy nature, enjoy fresh air, enjoy your life, enjoy whatever you have. Be grateful for whatever you have and let the creative things come out. Like right now I'm being creative and talking about creativity with you. And I'm making other videos about guitars and all kinds of interesting creative things here. Because change of scenery is a huge, huge help when you want to be creative. So many artists over the years and decades have come out to the forests, to the mountains, to nature, parks, to be creative. They take their guitars with them, or maybe they're singing, maybe they're writing, maybe they're painting, maybe they're even dancing out here. Nature is where humans first started dancing, of course, because we didn't live anywhere else. Look at these colors. Just the colors themselves can inspire you. And if, I don't know if you can see the shimmering water down there, that is very inspirational. We'll have to go down there and take a video of that. So let's go for a little walk. Creativity is a journey, a lifelong journey. There is no beginning, there is no end. I myself am always trying to be creative all the time, as often as possible. Come up with creative ideas, ideas for videos, ideas for songs, ideas for work projects. And I don't know how many countless things just walking in this park I've come up with. Maybe now you can see the shimmering. Basically, for me, creativity is a way of life, as I think it should be for everybody. We're all spending days and days doing I don't know what. A lot of it just being wasted instead of trying to be creative. There's a wonderful creative life for us out there if we just go and get it and go look at it and get into it. I hope my creative walk inspires you to do the same. And just by doing this, you don't even realize that it'll help you be creative. I've come up with ideas for music here. I came up with ideas for videos here. I don't paint, but I'm pretty sure if I did, I would come up with great ideas for painting. As you can see, some part of Prague, I don't know. <laughs> which area that is. So let's say you are out here and you think of a song and you get some song ideas, you're hearing some music in your head. Like me, what will happen is I will be walking. Something I will hear is this whole song playing in my head. I have no idea where it came from. It just starts playing in my head. And then I hear very vague kind of sounds, blurry kind of sounds. But I do have some rough idea about the chords and what kind of progression it might be. Although sometimes the chords, I can't really tell exactly what they are. But I do hear the, I guess the key tonality, if it's major or minor, 
minor, happy, sad, whatever. And then I start to just get out my, my phone notes app and I just start making notes, uh, roughly what chord it might be. And I, I guess usually I visualize myself playing certain chords on the guitar. So I'll be like, oh, this is an A or something. And I kind of, or if I'm not sure, I will pick a simple key like A or E and imagine the progressions in those keys and then just write out basic stuff. Maybe it'll change later, the key that might change later, but at least I have a rough idea what kind of sound, overall chord movement sound, a kind of vibe it's got. Is it heavy? Is it soft? Is it ringing guitar sounds? Is it a little arpeggios? Is it clean guitar? Is it distorted guitar? Does it have effects on it? Clean? Is it crunchy in the middle? All these things. So I've written out a bunch of these things and then slowly the, some lyrics will come to me and then I will start typing those out in my phone notes too. It becomes a very kind of going with the flow type of process because of course you're going to edit this stuff later. You're going to do something with it. Just get rough ideas down because then obviously you don't have your guitar you don't even try to get too complicated and technical don't overthink things just quickly put down the cook ideas as quickly as they're coming to you because you are in touch with the divine inspirational life source of creativity and you need to catch it you've tuned in you're like a radio tuner like uh, those old style radios when they were trying to tune into a specific station you would hear all the static and then suddenly you would catch that frequency and you would hear the full radio station and it was there all completely clearly same way you need to tune in, let yourself tune in because out here your tuning is much better because you've tuned out the bad things of life by coming out here i feel automatically tuned out of all the craziness of the world and so suddenly it's like you're clearing that static out you are trying to tune into a station so when you are feeling creative going to a place which automatically kind of seems to tune some of that static out is good for you and now i'm in a place you're in a place where okay you figure out some of those chords and you've cleared your mind and then suddenly you're more in tune to the creative energies of life that are in the universe you will start hearing those things when you get into those moments of catching that station catching that creative idea that comes you got to go with it fast that's why don't try to overthink the notes that you make make them very quickly and very shorthand and get it all down as much as possible so then when you get home you have time to dissect it apart and work on it but that's how i would do it i would uh, come up with some guitar ideas some chord movements some basic chord progression idea what i might think it might be some rough lyrics so that's a good way to come out and do something like that let places like this make you creative and bring it out of you get out more go outside to the parks more when the weather is better as often as you can let it bring the creativity out of you like i said it tunes a lot of the static out you are much more able to catch those creative frequencies and harness them when you are out in nature and away from the city and away from the craziness so we made it down to the lake and we got some birds flying around. And I'm gonna sit here and talk about creativity some more. <laughs> so let's see, how can we get some creativity out of what we're seeing here? You can think of the water, look at the water. The water can inspire the tempo of your music. And then if you see the sparkling lights, those can be sparkling sounds made by synthesizers or guitars. And if you see birds flying by, you can have swooshing, whooshing sounds made by guitars or synths to visualize the birds that you're seeing into your songs, and the trees and the colors. Maybe you want to do ambient music. This would be good for somebody who wants to do ambient music or even other things. Maybe you don't do ambient music. Maybe you just, maybe you do really aggressive music, but maybe you want to start adding some soft uh, little bits into your songs, like bridge is soft bridge. And you want to see how can I get a soft bridge sound in my song? The rest of it is so heavy and fast and hard. Well, perfect. Maybe the movement of the water can show you the tempo. Usually if you're doing a fast song, you'll probably go half speed tempo, but maybe if you see the water, Water, it could inspire you to think how how to slow down the song and the mood of like the slowness of the slow part of the song that you're trying to do or maybe you're doing a slow song a slow ballad again think of the water and the calming feeling of the water and how it's moving you can see the rough movement of the water it's like an overall movement 
Of course, the wind is helping it along. It's not so windy, but it's a little bit. So you can use that water to get your sound. But then look at the soft cut the colors. Maybe certain for me, certain guitar sounds or effects would have a certain color, like a blue. Like soft ambient reverbs would have a light blue color. You can see the same thing if you see the color in the water. You can think, hmm, how can I add this with an effect? What kind of colors do you see there? There's actually a chart online where you can look notes and their colors. Or if you enter a certain key, look up the color of that and see, does it match your song? Does it match the picture you're seeing? Try different sounds, different chords. Of course, when it comes to these views, you can have a bunch of different chord sounds because as you know, with guitars and chord emotion, the emotions that you can come up with the guitar are endless. You can have peacefulness and calm. Maybe you're thinking about something, so maybe the chord has a little bit of a weird note into it, you know, like a, you know, maybe it's got a minor seventh or a major seventh or minor, or sorry, a major second or a suspended thing going on. Water and suspended chords for me seem to have a similarity in scenes like this. Suspended chords with fourths and possibly major sevens can have, be very nice and reflect this kind of mood. The depth and look at everything that's happening. Everybody is walking around. Everybody's relaxing by the water. Today we learn how nature and the things we see every day can inspire us. We also learn how to take this inspiration and use different musical elements to craft your songs. Next time, I'll create musical examples based on all of this. The big takeaway? Inspiration is everywhere all the time. It's up to you to notice and harness it for your music and art. Enjoy and have fun exploring your inner creativity. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you immensely. If you liked the video, it would bring a huge smile to my face, just like this. If you subscribe, like, and comment, and hit the bell to get updates on future videos. To join our community, please click the link in the video description below. You'll get updates on future videos, as well as cool, helpful bonus stuff. Have an awesome creative day!